Hello everyone, I'm Matei and welcome to a science-based fitness channel. Now, what, you, what you're going to see today is a video about king of exercises. That's what it's been called on the internet all over. Um, I've been doing it since my first training as a, in, in track and field and I'm, I'm going to do it probably till my last day in training. Uh, I'm talking about squats. Uh, I'm going to show you uh, just a few things that you can just uh, to learn how to proper squat or to even improve it. Now, there are, there are a lot of things that people um, are doing wrong, but I'm gonna focus on the good things that you should do, right? Okay, so before I get into that, I just want to tell you guys that the squat is one of the most complicated and complex exercises there is, and I'm not gonna go into a really deep uh, analysis of it. I'm just gonna go you give you a few pointers so you can improve it and learn it if needed. Depends on what's the case there. So I'm just gonna go change out of these clothes. These are my, are my working clothes. Um, I'm just gonna put my training clothes on, go shoot this video, get it straight to editing and then put it up online so you guys can watch it um, and just see where it goes from there, see what it does for you. Hopefully it's gonna help you uh, and it, it's just gonna offer you at least one thing that you, not, you didn't know and you could add to your workout. Let's see how it goes. Okay guys, so the first thing I'm gonna tell you about the squat is how to position your feet. There are a few factors that, well, factor in. Um, but I'm gonna tell you this. In terms of how wide your stance should be, uh, there's one thing that's really important uh, to be taken in consideration and that is uh, how is how long is your uh, femoral head uh, that depends on how wide or narrow your legs should be on the ground right but before I mean you, you need to know yourself a little bit better so you can go into that but I'm gonna tell you something that applies for everyone and uh, that's how to position your feet on the ground and that is with your toes slightly pointing outside, right? So that your knees can follow. So when you do a squat from this position, your knees are open like this. They're not supposed to be straight. When they are straight, it means that you're kind of stretching. Uh, you're putting a lot of strain on your tendons and meniscus, right? So make sure that you hold your toes slightly pointing outside and then make sure that your knees are following through okay other than that as you come up make sure that you squeeze you kind of like screw your feet into the ground you put tension on your feet towards the center with your heel I'm gonna show you by moving my feet but you should not move them right so down into the squat and when you come up you squeeze and twist towards the center like that now that's gonna make sure that you engage your glutes, you finish the movement, you push your hips through, and also engage in the, uh, in the squat your hamstrings. I hope that that's clear so far. Um, second thing I got for you when it comes to squat is, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna say it straight away, when you squat, you don't squat from the knees, you don't squat from the shoulders, you squat from your hips. Just like when you sit down on a chair, that's the exact same movement you're doing when you're gonna do a squat. Uh, you're also gonna want to be on your heels while doing it and uh, lean your torso a little bit forward so that you maintain uh, the center of, of your gravity, the center of the gravity right above your heels, right? So I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. I'm gonna turn and I've got my, my toes pointing outside just like we talked about before. Uh, other than that, I'm gonna push my hips. See, this is how the movement starts, right? So, I'm pushing my hips back. See, I'm a little bit lacking balance. That's exactly where we wanna be. So, you push your hips back, and that's how you squat. I'm not gonna squat any lower than this, because I don't want my hips to tuck in here, right? I, don't, I just don't have enough mobility. If you have it, to squat all the way down, it's fine. But if you don't, make sure that you don't let your hips tuck in like this. So, a really good way for you to check if you're on your heels is to move your toes like this. See, I'm moving my toes, it means that I'm on my heels all the time 
as I come up, you're gonna notice my glutes engaging at the end. And I push and squeeze here by putting tension on my heels inward. Now, you're gonna want to have your core really tight. That way, you'll be able to transfer, transfer more, more force from your legs throughout your upper body in case you decide to load your back with the barbell and some weights or whatever. All right, so with what I've told you so far about the squat, you're gonna be able to practice for two weeks, one week or two weeks, it depends on how often you do it. And after that, you're probably gonna get the hang of it and do a really good squat that's gonna be serving you and bringing you gains on the long run because that's exactly what you want. You don't want to be squatting 100 kilos today and have a hernia tomorrow or you know what I mean, right? So make sure you're safe. If you're gonna squat heavy, make sure you'll have a spotter. Thank you guys so much for watching. That was it for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any comments, drop them down below. Uh, likes and subscribes are welcome as well. Thank you guys so much again and I'll see you guys online.